because I'm giving you a good shot of Cincinnati here. The weather's kind of bad. It's starting to rain again lightly, but uh, give you a little shot of the, I guess that's downtown Cincinnati. Been a while since I've been through here. You know, when I was driving from Maverick, there's a drywall plant that, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me at a lot over in Silver Grove, Kentucky, which is just a few miles from here. And we're going to be crossing over into Kentucky here shortly. I hope to stop at a rest area here in the next hour or so. Well, there's a stadium, sports stadium. Oh, the Cincinnati Reds. That's the baseball stadium. Makes me think of Pete Rose. Anyway, what I was saying, if it's not raining too bad, I hope to uh, get out and show you the inside of this trailer give, give you a better close-up of this uh, this load uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not but Robert called the uh, customer earlier and found out that they received until six o'clock oh We should be able to get unloaded. I talked to my dispatcher, Joey, and he's kind of got a, a load lined up for us to pick up in the morning, I think. But he said after we deliver this, we'll probably need to go get a washout. So he was gonna try to find a place nearby so we can get a washout. Because this load is about 25% dirt. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a load of junk, I tell you. So yeah, it'll need a washout. All right, so here we go in some traffic. Just giving you a shot of Cincinnati. Guess this would be the Ohio River we're crossing here. This is the second time today I've crossed the Ohio River. And I believe when we cross this bridge we'll be in Kentucky. behind me now he stopped at a flying J about 20 miles back to get some food I said I'm gonna just keep on going you'll catch up to me he likes to drive a little faster than I do but he takes uh, he'll stop somewhere you know for 15 or 20 minutes and get food and I typically don't do that I might stop you know at a rest area for five minutes or something I typically don't stop and get food. I just eat what I have in the truck until I get parked in the evening and then I'll eat. But everybody's got their own style of driving. Oh, this says no trucks in this lane. I better get out of here. All right, well, there's you some Cincinnati footage. 
Okay guys, I stopped here uh, real quick at this rest area here in Kentucky, but I, I'm making a cup of coffee, but I wanted to show you uh, this load real quick. I'm gonna open my little man door here, give you a peek at that. See what I'm hauling. Uh, it's kind of dark in there, but look at that. It's just like bits and pieces of old like crushed up cars and stuff <laughs> just i don't know i thought you'd be able to see better in there but it's dark just random little pieces of junk metal <laughs> so that's what we got all right you can see how I've got my shovel stored here and my broom stored there but uh I'm going to do a quick walk around the trailer and make sure everything's good. Um, yeah, it started raining again, lightly. Can't get away from it. Take a look at the rest area here. It's a nice rest area, a big one. Uh, everything looks pretty good. Surprised I got out of there without any flat tires. It's a miracle. All right, let me get on down the road. Okay guys, so I've arrived here at my customer in Henderson, Kentucky. I was the third truck in line when I got back here. We're at the very back of their uh, place. The name of this place is Audubon. Let me look at it. Audubon Metals you can see and you'll be able to see better when I drive through here uh, they just got piles of this Zorba product or just piles of recycled metal little metal pieces they process it somehow I don't really know what they do big place though so there was two Oakley drivers in front of me I'm the last one in line it looks like and um, Robert has already got unloaded I hope he's up there waiting for me and then there was another Oakley driver that just pulled in and got unloaded so once this red light up ahead turns green I'll be able to pull in and uh, get unloaded I probably won't be able to show you any of it But, that's what we got. I'm gonna have to work on a way to get a camera mounted back there on the trailer somehow in the future. So, uh, whew, it's about, what time is it? Of course, we've moved back into central time today. It's 6.34 p.m. and I think they oh there's the green light so let's see what we can do here oh now we got a red light okay back and forth back and forth there we go I think there was a forklift in the way back there and there's a sign there that says you got to have a hard hat, eye protection, you know, all that stuff. I've already got my tarp rolled off, my mud flaps put up. And my understanding is we have to make a sharp left right here. Ah, oh, there's Robert down there. I see him. That's good. <laughs> And that lady in the pink jacket must be their employee. All right, so I gotta make a sharp turn to the right here. And 
then back up, I believe. I'm a rookie, so be gentle. I uh, will be easy on you. This, I mean, just this one time, no. Okay, one this time's one all time. I want. That's fair enough. All right, stay a little bit over to the left so you got enough room to keep your truck straight with your trailer. Back in. Okay. All right. We're going I don't back. want you to concentrate on backing in. You're going to jump right where I'm standing. You're going to have a loader push until Keep it's yourself easy. straight. Okay. Awesome. You be careful out here. <laughs> Thank you. He says, keep, keep it straight. Well, you're getting a good look of things. to position it where I can keep it straight. <laughs> oh gosh, all oh, the stuff I'm running over does not sound good. Get back to you. Okay, guys, we've made it to Friday morning here in, uh, I'm calling it Evansville, Indiana, but really it's some other town. <laughs> we stayed across the road over there at the pilot. Now we've come across here to the Blue Beacon. That's Robert there about to enter into the wash. We've got to get our uh, trailers washed out. I've already got my uh, barn door open. I'm gonna let the air out of my suspension here. Robert said if we do that, that'll put a little tilt downward to the trailer so it'll drain better. You can see it's not super dirty, but there is a lot of residue from that load yesterday, especially up front. And we're going to pick up uh, a load of hominy. Um, so I'm sure they don't want all that crap we were hauling yesterday mixed into their hominy load tarps open so I'm ready to go in oh good they're opening up a second bay awesome awesome all right let me get moved up here all right I'll give you a look at this finally they got two bays opened up I figure Robert will probably be quicker getting out of here than that other flatbed that went in. Let's hope so. Since all he's getting is a trailer washout. So, let me pull up here a little bit. Maybe you can get a little look of this. See how the boys at the Blue Beacon do their work. Another truck coming in behind me now. So just to recap, once we get washed out here, <clears throat> let me check the name of this town. We're going to a place called Bungie Milling in Danville, Illinois. 
and it'll deliver Monday in Charleston, Arkansas to, I think, like a farm. Roberts goes to another town in Arkansas, maybe 30 miles from there. So we're supposed to still be hooked up together for that. So I'm hoping we can get home today. I don't know if we can. It's going to be real tight, depending on how much time we we take to get loaded, because it's it's like my GPS says it's three hours and 15 minutes from here to get to Danville. You know, and it's I'm I'm saying it's probably eight hours from there to North Little Rock. So I. I don't know if I'm going to be able to legally get home today or not. So we'll see. Hopefully it's a quick load. We can get moving. All right. More later. Okay, guys. So we've arrived here at our shipper in Danville, Illinois. This is Robert up ahead of me. The way they get, there's a bunch of trucks here, but we're in the line for uh, loading the Hominy product. So we got me, and another truck behind me, Robert, the truck right there, and then you go around down there and curve in. The loading area is over there somewhere. So there's like three or four other trucks over there. So we're like the sixth or seventh trucks in line. And the guy said it takes about 40 minutes per truck. So I'll probably, It'll probably take me three hours or so to get loaded, I'm, I'm estimating. Which uh, means that I will not have enough time to get home today, unfortunately. It'll be Saturday morning before I can make it. Uh, yeah, kind of disappointed in that, but that's trucking. So, um, yeah, they've got trucks organized here in like uh three different li three or four different lines uh so yeah just gonna follow the line around and uh i'll try to show you more once i get into the loading area uh we're not supposed to take our uh, tarps off until we get down there in i think into the loading bay so uh you know they want to keep the trailer dry so, all right, that's what we got going on. Okay, folks, I'm just trying to figure out something to talk about. <laughs> I'm gonna be waiting here a while. Um, you can see down the hill there, maybe. That's Robert's green truck down there. He's second in line, I'm third in line. There's a truck in that building getting loaded. They only want two trucks at a time down there in line. So once the line moves up, I'll move down there and get in line so uh it's been taking about 40 minutes per truck so yeah it's gonna be a while but uh that's how it goes so let's kind of uh let me see i don't have a mount up on this truck like i did in my maverick truck yet so let's see if i can get it to sit here the dashboard is curvy right here not flat so I don't know. Oh, uh, it was a truck. I thought he was coming to talk to me. Never mind. Okay, let's talk about week one a little bit. Um, it's been a learning experience for sure. You know, it's a different kind of freight. You know, this uh, dry bulk end dump. Um, it's going to be good. Uh, we're we're going to have a good week, I think just ballparking it we're probably gonna be you know 2700 2800 miles by the time i get home so uh it'll you know that'll that'll be a good uh, first week pay um learn some things getting a little more familiar with the trailer um how to operate the trailer dump the trailer load the trailer all that so feeling better about that uh, 
the disappoint the real disappointing thing is you know i've got a couple of little issues with the truck you know i've i've talked to uh the people at arrow truck sales where i bought it from you know of course the things that are going wrong are not covered under warranty but they're saying you know to get an estimate and they'll see about helping me just to you know they want to keep me happy because i just bought a truck first week out but um my bunk heater it blows it just doesn't produce hot air so i've uh, been watching videos trying to figure that out haven't been able to get anything good happening with that luckily it hasn't been real cold so it hasn't been a big issue um well the first night i spent in the truck sunday night at the north little rock oakley yard it was cold then i had to run the truck for a, a few hours uh to generate some heat but uh after that it was it was okay i was all right but i want to get that fixed because any time now i could end up being you know sitting out in 25 degree weather so uh i've already called the mhc in little rock i'm gonna drop the truck off there saturday when i get back i've already talked to them um they're gonna at least diagnose it and order parts if they need to give me an estimate so i can talk to uh, arrow and you know see what we're looking at there to get it fixed um if they said if they can fix it saturday sunday you know that's why i'm going there is they're open 24 7 their service bay their service shop so uh yeah gonna go get that checked out and just in the last couple of hours i've got a an engine light that's come on it doesn't tell me you know why have to read that with a a tool a reader but uh, i called the mhc service guy back uh that i've been talking to and told him i got that problem too so get that checked out so uh, uh yeah had a head headlight bulb go out had to stop and buy one of those and replace it and then uh <laughs> had uh the defroster quit working one day and uh robert and i stopped and checked the filters underneath the hood up next to the engine wall one of those filters was super dirty so we vacuumed it off and cleaned it and we were able to buy the second filter um and just replace it um and the defroster started working better so uh been okay since then but i need to replace that other filter too i'll probably just go ahead and see if mhc has one of those while we're there so yeah you know that's been the frustrating thing just the little little things with the truck so that's going to be the big difference here going from a you know employee driver uh where i didn't have to worry about that stuff to you know being an owner op and constantly having to worry about that so it's a trade-off you know make more money <laughs> you, can, you gotta spend more money on the on the vehicle you know and keeping it running and all that so but anyway yeah been a been a good first week should produce you know I, like i did with my maverick videos i'll uh try to review each week you know once i get my settlement that's what they call it um at oakley you know you get you get credited with all the revenue from the load you know you're driving and then they charge you for your you know your license fees and the fuel you purchased and uh there's an escrow i have to pay into for uh damages possible future damages to the trailer so you know i'll cover all that try to give you a look at the money as we go along here so uh anyway still waiting more later all right folks robert up in front of me is about to enter into the loading building once he gets in there and i get parked behind him i gotta walk up 
those metal stairs you see there to the left and uh, kind of check in, get some instructions. But I'll see if we can uh, see any of this from here. Okay. So they gave us a form to fill out, you know, with our order number, truck number, trailer number, our customer we're delivering to, you know, stuff like that. How much weight we wanted to be loaded with. Uh, I said 23 tons. and uh the rest i'll find out when i get in there all right i'll try to show you some more when i can all right guys still waiting um i think there's a truck behind me now that has gotten out of line <laughs> i'm not sure about that it's hard to tell there's so many trucks up there but i wanted to say uh i called my customer you know because my my work order just gives me uh, a name of a farm and uh, a city it didn't give me any address so I called the customer to you know just make a plan for Monday's delivery get an address or where I'm supposed to deliver it and <laughs> he acted all surprised and confused because uh, at first he said he didn't expect this this load until January anyway he says let me let me make a call I got to see if I can cancel that other order and I'll call you back so he did that and called me back about 20 minutes later and I guess he got it all worked out and uh, he gave me an address um, sounds like it's a dairy farm so uh, I know where I'm going and uh he didn't have a certain time monday he didn't he was open so i kind of gave him a time frame you know for my initial plans of when i thought i'd be there but i told him i'd call him when i'm on the way you know give him a better update so got that all done <clears throat> robert's still in there uh waiting i walked up and checked in and the loader said maybe you could see that little red traffic light up there but he said he'll signal with that light, red, yellow, or green, whether he wants us to stop, pull forward, or back up. Yellow means back up. Red means stop. Green means forward. And uh, he'll load based on what we've said we wanted course i'll have to get out and kind of check my gauges as he loads to be sure but with the numbers i gave him i should be in pretty good shape so uh anyway just a lot of waiting going on here all right folks robert is in there getting loaded i don't know if there's enough light in there for you to see but the the product is coming out of that cone shaped chute there into his truck and the light just turned yellow so that means he's supposed to back up just a foot or so and then you know he's been moving he's probably had to move either forward or backwards about uh probably five or six times you know trying to get the weight spread out properly he should be about done <clears throat> So he flashes the lights, red, green, red, green, when it's he's ready for Robert to pull out. So there he goes. My turn to go in. All right, guys, I'm still in the loading bay. There's the traffic light that I'll be watching for instructions. Red is stop. Green is forward, yellow is backwards. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but 
these chutes right here, I can hear the product going up in those chutes. So I guess they're sending it over and up and then it gets dumped into my trailer. That's my theory anyway. So there's Robert's truck. You can see he's got his, his tarp rolled over. He's basically ready, he's just kind of waiting on me. I told him he could go on if he wants to, but um, at this point, we can't get home anyway today. We don't have enough time left on our clock, so we were just talking about uh, where we're gonna stop, how far we can make it. So, all right, well, that's how it works here. More later. All right, folks. Hey, it's Saturday morning, about 8 a.m. I'm uh, arriving here in North Little Rock. I drove about four hours this morning. Uh, I stopped yesterday evening at the New Madrid, Missouri rest area. Camped out there, kind of finished up my 8-2 split break. Got up this morning pretty early and left. Had a little over four hours to drive to, to get here. So, uh, yeah, this will put an end to my first week as an Oakley owner-operator driver. It's been a long week. Learned a lot. I won't have any uh, pay information to review for you guys that have been watching my videos for a while. You know, at the end of each week, I like to review the previous week's miles and pay, at least when I was with Maverick. Uh, and I'll, I'll do that here too, but I won't get my first settlement payment till next week. Now the way it works here at Oakley, their pay weeks are different than Mavericks. Mavericks pay weeks went from Sunday through Saturday night at midnight. Oakley goes Monday through Sunday. And any orders that you picked up like prior to Sunday, like this load I picked up Friday, I'm gonna deliver it Monday, and as long as I get my paperwork scanned in by like 4 p.m. on Monday, I'll still get paid for it on this coming check. So I'm estimating I should be around 2,700 miles. You know, that's a combination of empty and loaded, mostly loaded. Uh, but here comes the, uh, what I'll call the back entrance to the Oakley yard here before this railroad track. We're gonna go in that way. And I'll give you a peek of the yard. It's locked. Huh. I guess they lock it on the weekends. <laughs> Woo, glad I saw that before I uh, turned all the way in. Okay, well, let's try this a different way. Okay, I'll get back to you after this light. Okay, so let's try this again. A lot of railroad tracks around here, as you can see. Got a lumber yard here to the right. All right, let's see how hard it is to find a spot to park. Hopefully there's a spot over here to the right because that's where my car is. Looks like there is. From 
here anyway. Here's the driver's lounge here to the right. Okay. Just giving you a look at the grounds. Arkansas River is right behind that warehouse right there. Okay, and then you can see here to the right, these are some of the uh, owner op drivers that have parked here. All right, guys, well, let me get parked. Okay, guys. Well, I got me a parking spot here, which is good because my car is right over there. And uh, I'm gonna drop this trailer and take my truck down the road to the MHC dealership, three or four miles down the road. Um, you can see there's a concrete strip here where you're supposed to drop your landing gear if you're leaving a trailer. So. Uh, all right, I'm going to wrap this uh, week one up and uh, be heading out early Monday morning. We'll see you then. <laughs>